be heard here. Be sure to hit the notification bell because YouTube is stupid and the only way that you'll be able to see my videos is if you're super active on my channel or you hit that notification bell. So please do so. Now enjoy the video. YouTube land, what's good? It's your boy Be Heard and this is the series I don't have a title for. But uh, basically a tournament recap of uh, the latest tournaments uh, part of the CPT Tour. Uh, I try to cover Injustice, Dragon Ball, and Street Fighter V. I do watch Marvel when I can, I do watch Tekken when I can, but that's not really my expertise or, you know what I'm saying, something I should speak on as far as the players and stuff like that. So that's why I keep my mouth shut. But, you know what I'm saying, I do have plans for the series. I definitely want to get players to go to these tournaments on. I definitely want to get, uh, you know, pe just people on it and figure out a way to make it better instead of just in my living room. It's pink. Why not? So, yeah, this past weekend, NCR took place on April Fool's Day was top eight, which was very interesting because I'll get into that later. But, um, yeah, first opportunity to see Broly and Bardock, but they weren't tournament legal in Dragon Ball. So I understand it, but at the same time, it's not like a, it's not like a, World Tour, you know what I'm saying? I get you want to know the characters, especially Broly, because Broly's so cheap. I still don't know how to fight Broly. And I, I fought a top 200 on Xbox player, and I don't know what I'm doing against that character. So, But I get it. I understand it. Uh, Goichi, no surprise, uh, took first place. Moke took uh, second. Super Noon took third, which was a super clutch uh, and the comeback he had on Chris G. Chris G took fourth. Combo to... Uh, 2GB combo took fifth. Momochi took fifth as well. Nat Hill took seventh. And Cloud took seventh as well. And as Noto's honorable mention, Punk took ninth. That was very admirable. Firstly, I think that's Punk's first Dragon Ball tournament too. If I'm not mistaken. I don't know if he entered the final round or not. But, uh, well, he might have. I'm not too sure. I can't really speak on that. But Dragon Ball was fun, man. Dragon Ball, uh... The thing I love about watching Goichi play is I, I literally learn every time he plays. I, I learn something new, like, uh, I think he's playing Moki, and uh, and he called in the character, and then he vanished to punish the calling of the character. So I guess he wasn't ready to punish the rush, obviously, because that's what the character does. But he vanished, and he got perfect placement and punish, and he got a full punish off of that. So that man is playing out of his mind when it comes to Dragon Ball. And Sonic Fox was not at this event, so that's why if you don't see Sonic Fox's name, he was not at this event. He was at another event. And he ended up taking first place in that event too, which I love it because it builds like a WWE storyline. Like, uh, Goichi's over here doing well, and then Sonic Fox is over here doing well. Now this is going to be interesting too because there's only, I think, ranking events in the month of April. Uh, there's Red Bull, there's a Red Bull event in Chicago, which I'm hopefully trying to go to, so, you know, hit that paper, you want to send your boy there, but, uh, there's nothing really in the U.S. that's going on, and I really don't see Sonic Fox going all the way to, like, the Capcom event, a ranking event as well, because he hasn't been playing Street Fighter this, uh, this year, so, I think Oishi's gonna probably go to these different events that are outside the U.S., and we probably won't see these two ch each other play until Combo Breaker, which would be super sick, because I'm trying to go to Combo Breaker as well. And the biggest tournament in the Midwest, what? That's, so it's going to take some time to build up, and hopefully that they keep both getting uh, number ones, or first place in tournaments, and it just builds up. Because the build up to final round was worth it, but the build up to the esports kind of seemed forced. And the esports event was good until it didn't work, and then until you ran it at 12 o'clock at midnight on Eastern Eastern Standard Time, like it's like, uh, like I, I have no problem buying in the hype, but you got to set me up. Like where final round was at six, it was Friday, it was hype. You know what I'm saying? Just build it up. That's all. That's a that's good booking. Um, yeah, and. I mean, I'm curious to see, since, like I said, there's no real Dragon Ball tournament, and there's not really, there's events going on, obviously, like, there's Michigan Masters, there's, uh, the tournament in April, like, I was, uh, the Red Bull events that are gonna come up, and, uh, so it's gonna be very interesting to see how 
like when Broly and Bardock are gonna be available and the next big tournament's really in the USA, really not so combo breaker, which is in the anime. Oh, actually, I lied, Texas Showdown. I stand corrected. Sorry about that. Texas Showdown is at the beginning of the month of May, that weekend. So, so there's not really nothing big until May. So, uh, Tekken, Tekken was hype. I heard it was hype. I didn't get a chance to watch the top eight because I was over at my uh, grandparents' house because it was Easter and April Fool's Day on the same day. I don't think that's ever happened in my life, which is so weird. The Saint took first. Bodins took second. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. Uh, Kamo Kamoa? K K I, I'm sorry, I'm trying so hard to say these names. I didn't hear them. If I hear, if I heard the name, I could say it easier. But I, I'm just reading, and I'm reading my penmanship, so I apologize. Please don't take no offense to me pushing it in. JDCR took fourth, and Joey Fury took fifth. I have to look at the second world uh, tournament. I haven't looked at the points yet, uh, so I'm sorry that I can't speak more on it. But like I said, I do want to expand the series. So if we can get someone who watches tech in, uh, you know, covers tech in, or Marvel as well, you know what I'm saying, hit your boy up. Even came up, hit your boy up, we'll, we'll work something up. Now Street Fighter, Street Fighter was a huge event. Uh, it started super late too, oh my goodness. Like that's, this is the reason why you're getting this video today and not yesterday, because your boy was tired. I got three hours of sleep because I was watching Street Fighter. And then the news that we gonna get into later. We we gonna have to cover that later. But uh, that's that's another day for another topic. Uh, Street Fighter was yeah, like I said, hype, super sick. Uh, Tokido took first place. Daigo took second. Uh, Do took third. And Trish took fourth. Berlin took fifth. And Gamer B took fifth as well. Justin Wong took seventh. And Storm Kubu took seventh. And actually. Honorable mentions, Ricky Ortiz got my place. Shout out to you, Ricky. You know, we, we didn't really get to see you a lot last season. And then, you know, the whole CPT tournament thing. Yeah, I think you played Tokido very well, too. But, uh, yeah, I think this is a... I don't know if she went to final... She probably did win the final round. I, mean, I just don't know. But, they, well, NCR and got points for it. And I think, actually, if I'm not mistaken, in my eyes, so she was just 18th right now. So, that was really good. As far as the CPC stands, so. uh, Momoshi got ninth as well. Fudo, Fudo, sorry. Problem X, and Fuji, Fujimara, and Mena RD, Oil King, and Punk got 13. And Punk lost in a tragic way. Lost to Abigail, which I will cover Abigail in the later, later in the video. But uh, yeah, that was a close match with him and Problem X. It was a good match. But, uh, Oil, uh, Problem X, Abigail just had the help. And he also played well. I never want to discredit a player. I don't care if you're playing the cheapest character and knowing the history. There's cheap characters in every game. Deadshot for one, Injustice. Wolf fight. Vanilla Injustice. Uh, Android 16, Broly now. Uh, I don't know any. Whoa. I'm trying to think of a Marvel cheap. Dante was cheap in Marvel. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's cheap characters in every game. But, like, it's just, it is what it is. Uh. Yeah, man, Street Fighter was super sick. And Daigo made this like ultimate losers run. It got sent by Knuckle Dude to losers, and the Knuckle Dude, it was like three up. Like Knuckle Dude played phenomenal, and he, I, I feel like Knuckle Dude is one of my favorite players. And a lot of the the, the people he plays, I would seriously play Street Fighter Five. Like, like if I could get better at the controls, and I wasn't like a scrub. I would probably play Guile. I know that probably just turns some of you off in the wrong way. Like, ah, Guile, like, hey, Guile looked kind of fun, man. I'm just, I don't know. He looked kind of fun. And yeah, Daigo had this sick run. And then, I mean, yeah, he plays Guile too. But uh, Dude played Cammy in that matchup. And Dude, Cammy looks good. I I think Berlin, Forlorn, is the best Cammy, but Dude's up there. Like, obviously, dude was so good. Yeah, he played three different characters in Street Fighter V, and all of them are damn good. His Cammy's good. His Guile's good. His Armika's good, which is going to be interesting. Another thing. I, I keep foreshadowing, but I'm sorry. And then Justice Wong, Justin Wong finished seventh. He had a mirror match with Infiltration. Uh, it was a Manat mirror match, which was very interesting. It was, it was so weird that both characters played Keep Away. 
Uh, just Walls, my nut is looking pretty good, and I think my nut is better. And he he even had a tweet where he was like, "Yeah, don't feel bad about like making you frustrated and playing my game <laughs> with my nut." So it's like, like it's kind of like Birdman hair of like, oh, especially with the news that we received, you know, my nut might be a problem, especially if Justin Walls getting seventh place. I think he only used her too. I think that's a good point. That's all that, uh, that's all that Event Hubs had, is him only using her. So, like, like, ooh, that's gonna be interesting. Storm Kubo, uh, Abigail played, and he actually played Gamer B, and Gamer B was EXVP through everything. He did not have no time for Abigail shenanigans, his flip, none of that. But, yeah, Abigail, the, the scariest thing for playing against Abigail, it's not the fact that, uh, you know, you do well and you're making them guess and you're putting them in these predicaments and you're hitting them with hard knockdowns. It's when he rolls at you with his heavy kick, uh, crouching heavy kick, activates, turns red, and just goes ham. And then your life bar goes like this. Like, your life bar was like this. It goes like this. Like this. 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 Like, <laughs> that's the serious part about after death. And man, oh man, just top eight was so sick, and it was funny too because I was arguing what uh, one of the homies shout out to you. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's just yeah, I'm not watching top eight and stuff like that. I was like, why? It's always sick, and it's always the players. I don't care how broken or unbalanced the game is. Damn, I am forced out like a mug in this video. <laughs> if you have no idea, but I don't care how bad it is, it's still on the players. Like it's still like you still have to show up and do stuff. You know what I'm saying? And one thing I think is funny is nobody complains about Akuma. Like, Akuma is kind of cheap. The, the only problem Akuma, Akuma really has is probably his health and his stun. Imagine if he had normal health. Oh my god. <laughs> so, the top eight, or top five for CP standings right now is Tokido uh, with 1120 points. And actually, it was funny too that I, I didn't even think about Tokido plays second at final round. He won the uh, ranking event in Asia and he just won NCR <laughs> so Tokido could honestly chill out I think there was one event in Asia later in the month but uh, he could really he could really chill out <laughs> April if you wanted to if you want to take a break like <sighs> you know say he's won money he, he's, he's doing the damn thing uh, infiltration is second with 860 points 860 points Berlin is tied for third with uh, 330, so it's tied with Du with 330, and Daigo is fifth with uh, 271 points. And yeah, the points are so close, and it's going to be interesting. I think the top half is going to be, obviously, that's who it is, and the bottom half is going to be a fight, because it seems like every week, it, like, uh, <clears throat> Neon V is still 12th, uh, and he finished uh, top eight. I think he finished seventh in the uh, final round, and he hasn't gone to the event since. So these premier events matter, man. These premier events matter. But you, I definitely think you should go to every event. You shouldn't just settle for not going to an event. But it's gonna it's gonna reward the people who go to every event. It's gonna reward the people who do well at the event. So it's like pick your poison. You want to go to every event and really risk it, or do you want to just do well at the events you go to? So it's all about how you play your strategy, and I, I like that. I do like that. I wish, but one gripe, quick gripe. With the ranking events, you can't give somebody one point to finish the top seven. Like, that's top seven. Like, one. Like, we got to work on the ranking events. Everything else, I'm 110% I'm with. But, like, ranking events, really? One point for finishing top seven? That's crazy to me. Um, so, controversy time. The Kaba and Mena versus Goichi. Uh, Mena and Goichi were playing each other offline. Uh, and Kaba finished well too. Kaba finished like 33rd. So shout out to him for that. And, uh, you know, Kaba was talking smack. I don't even know what language he was talking smack in. But, uh, it was to the point where Goichi felt bothered. He said he was too distracted, that he should be banned. I don't think he really meant he should be banned, but uh, the translation was for he probably just didn't want him near him or behind him. But then here's my thing. I feel like 
me, like, boom, well, me doing this in the comfort of my home, or me doing this series in the comfort of a stream is different than me, say, actually working for Capcom or at Twitch, like Mike Ross did. That's different. That's a different type of environment. Like, that environment should make you kind of feel a little uncomfortable. Now, not uncomfortable to the point to where you can't do it. You never want that. But that's the thing with tournaments. Me playing online and me playing ranked, or me playing a homie at the crib, it's comfortable. It's relaxing. I'm not stressed. I'm not anxiety. I don't, I don't have clammy hands. Like, clam, clammy hands playing the game. You go to a tournament, they're supposed to be that pressure of the tournament. They're supposed to be that, like, anxious feeling, that the anxiety that uh, you're playing someone next to you and somebody next to you is playing somebody next to them and somebody advice like, just all the way down and, like, there's people around. And think about it. You have sponsors who are watching. You have uh, fans who are watching. You have people who want to see your matches. And because if they can't see it on the stream, then they want to see it live. And there's going to be people behind you talking and like, it's gonna be this buildup. Like, there's so many factors into a tournament. Like, you're gonna have cameras on you. You're gonna have, say, if you're on stream, there's a camera in your face, like, right here. <laughs> uh, there's commentary breaking down stuff, and they could be talking slick. I, I'm trying to work with my commentary. I don't wanna to talk slick about a player, but I, I just, I wanna be fair to the player. But that's the need to there in this conversation. Like, there's so many distractions. If, if you think Kaba was bad, just hear me out. Imagine if you could hear the stream chat. Like, instead of the chat just talking crap, scrolling down. Imagine if you could hear all their voices saying what they say in the chat. Bruh. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then Goichi is such a good player that the noise that you can't even understand. I don't know. I don't know if he speaks language like how he speaks. Maybe he does. I don't know. But if you don't even understand it, it's just noise. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like there's way more disrespectful things to play to do than that. Now, if he's if he's within arm, like, if he's within arm length to you, like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, arm's length, or like this, like, he's, like, right there talking crap to you, I feel like that's a little far-fetched. There should definitely be some distance, but then at the same time, some tournaments are just cluttered like that, and there's really no space. And, uh, if he, like, if he's, if you can feel his breath on your neck, I'm not saying he got hot breath, but like if you could, you know what I'm saying? He's like that close to you, talking that much crap to you. Then that's a problem. That's something I have a problem with. I don't think you should be that close. I definitely think you're in the right. But if it's from distance, because sometimes it could just be chatting. Like, say, what I mean, obviously, Kaba was talking crap and trying to help his friend out in Mena and just, you know what I'm saying, get distracted or whatever, whatever. But what if he's just talking? What if the scenario was he was just talking to someone and they're just talking loud because it's a venue. Like, a venue gets loud. Sound bounces. I, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you play music and you hold it down to, uh, say, a cup holder or whatever, the sound's going to bounce up because of those waves. I mean, there's so many different factors, too. And, like, I never thought I would say this. I don't have a problem with the guy. But uh, I get he's the bad guy in the SBC, but Wolf Chrome. Remember when Wolf Chrome played K Brad? Capcom Cup, Capcom Pro Tour shows that match. They showed that match at final, final round. I saw it on stream. And there's dudes literally touching Wolf Chrome. That's how close they are. I mean, they're like, they're hunched over watching the set. And what made it so bad was, like, he said there's people breathing on him. They said there's people moving his chair. He said people talking crap. And nobody came to the defense of him. So it's kind of like, uh, like yeah. If you're if you're on the same energy and you match that energy, then I'm with you a thousand percent. Like, I'm a thousand percent. I'm with you a thousand percent. But it's when you uh, play favorites and you're not keeping the same energy that I'm kind of like, oh, I don't, I don't really like that. Like the hypest thing that happened this year in tournaments, it was Kit. I was watching it. It was Street Fighter. It was a homie penguin. Shout out to Penguin. I'm going to tag you and I'm going to at you on Twitter so you can see this. The hypest part was Penguin was playing this guy and the guy's buddy was in the back talking noise. And obviously he's talking English so you understood him and stuff like that. So he's talking crap. I don't I think he was saying something crazy, but he was talking crap. Um I think the guy beat him the first game or whatever, so the friend got hyped. The penguin beat him the second game, and the penguin turned around like, "What's up? Like talking crap to the guy?" 
I loved every minute of that. That's what I want. I mean, I'm not saying Goichi has to do it. Especially if that's not his character. If that's not your character, don't act like it is. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I would love both. Say, say Mana beat Goichi the first game, right? Then Kaba's talking crap. <laughs> like, just going crazy. Then Goichi beats Mana the second game. And then turns around and goes like this. Oh, you, you mean to tell me you wouldn't get hype off of that? That's what the FGC is about. It's about the hype. The pop... Pop ups are hype. Uh, people winning and then the friends jumping up to celebrate them is hype. Like, you want to show the excitement. You that's that's what it's all about. Like, emotion is good. Could you imagine if nobody said nothing? You know how awkward that event would be. Things that I, I get it's a respect thing, and I get like 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 I said, boom, back to respecting. There's way more disrespectful things I think you could do in that scenario. Say, like, say your opponent's like, I'm about to zone you out, I'm about to run away, I'm not even going to touch you with any of my normals. You not going to play this game. That's disrespectful. Or say he knocks you down, gets a stun, instead of killing you off with a combo, he teabags you. Or he doesn't shake your hand. There's way more. I, give me some noise, especially if I don't understand it. Give me noise all day. Give me noise all day. I take noise all the time. And then you see even Daigo in top eight had his own headphones. A lot of players have their own headphones after that. And it's, it's just like, uh, if Kaba's been known for that, you, just gotta, you gotta put it in your mind. You know what I'm saying? It's like you see a bully. If you know the bully lives up the street and you gotta walk up the street, you gotta prepare yourself for what happens with the bully. Now, should the bully have done that? No, I mean, obviously not. But it's just like little clues like that you gotta be ready for. It. And it's in the FGC zone. It's all mental. It's, it's mental. Physically, all you have to do is show up and do it. As long as you show up and do everything you're supposed to do, you will get better. You will do well, and you put the time and effort in it. You could nobody's gonna stop you. I truly believe in that. that. This is me doing it now. Like I'm fucking, I'm doing a CPT talk when nobody knows who I am. So you could do it. But I'm saying it's it's mental. It's a mental warfare. That's all it is. And, and like I, cause. I grew up with my mom talking crap to me playing video games. Like, and that's my mom, so I can't talk crap to her. I can't get mad at her. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think it's my mom. And then she wouldn't even play me. She wouldn't even give me my salty run back. Like, she'd go cook or do something. You know what I'm saying? Do something moms do. So it's just like, I gotta hold that. So, because, like, when I went to an event, I, that's probably one reason why I might not ever compete as a player. Like, I'm not saying I can't, but uh, I went to the event. And I'm used to talking, like, haha, like, oh, crap, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking crap, like, I'm just talking. I mean, the guy's just like this. He's just, he's just literally like this. He's just. <laughs> I'm like, this is weird. <laughs> like, I just like talking. That's, but that's my personality, too. I don't think he should have been. Man. I, I, I had this. I heard the clip. Like, I seen the clip. But all you do is hear him. Yes, he was loud. But there's plenty of people who are more loud, and those people play on stream. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, I don't know. If that's your personality, that's who you are. Now, if that's not your personality, and you're doing it to, like like I said, I just like keeping the same energy. I like keeping the same energy as far as defending stuff, and I like keeping the same energy as, as acting stuff. It's like, remember when everybody was complaining, like, boom, why does something happen always at NCR? Remember last year when everybody was complaining about teabagging and all that stuff, like how Punk would do it, how Dude would do it, and all this stuff, and then everybody became teabaggers, and everybody, oh, is teabagging ruining the FGC? No, it's not ruining the FGC. It shouldn't happen unless you let it happen. You, you feel me? Like, it's just like, like, if you don't want it to happen, there's ways to prevent it, you know what I'm saying? It's just what you feed into. So, like, that's all. And, and, but I, also on Reddit and Kappa and all that stuff, that racist stuff wasn't even cool. Like, I don't, I don't care. Like, that, that's just not cool. Like, that's, that's petty. That's easy to do. Like, that's, you know what I'm saying? You, like, if, you, if you're if you racist to me, I'm going to laugh in your damn face because that's the easy thing to do. That's easy. That's, 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 that's old. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's a weak mindset. You're a weak individual. You're not strong. Especially if you're raising someone you don't even know. But, what would be crazy is if he was like, you know, that's why your low forward didn't connect from that range and you couldn't do a sonic boom after because you trash. I'd be like, mm, my low boom didn't, I mean, I, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I could do a low forward boom 
Anyway, I don't play God like that, and that's a charge loose. But I, you get what I'm trying to say. Like, you're like, damn. Like, that's kind of deep. Like, that's kind of deep into your player. Like, that's why you can't connect on that DP combo, bruh. Like, that's deep. Hit me like that. That's going to hurt me. But you saying I'm black or something? Like, you saying something I don't know. Like, oh, damn, I'm black. Like, that's just petty. I, but I love it. I love it. Because I, I love it. I'm part of that. I like that's part of the hype. You know I'm saying, if if you one of my homies and I rock with you, and there's a lot of people I I respect in FGC, I'm going to cheer. Like when Rob TV was popping off at NCR, and he was popping off crazy. Like <laughs> he was he was wilding. <laughs> he was deep bagging, popping off, throwing the flex in and all that. I was I was like, hey, that's my man, hundred grand. That's my boy. That's him. That's him. I'm never gonna get mad at him for being him. So if he pop off, I pop it off too. Let's go. Let's go, Rob. It is what it is, bro. It, that's just my energy. But I, I, also, I respect players. I'm not going to be disrespectful with it. I'm not going to call you free. I'm not going to do anything that will antagonize your character or anything like that. I'm never going to be disrespectful with it. But am I going to be hyped? you yeah, damn right. I'm going to be hyped. I'm hyped right now. You can tell from this video. I'm by myself talking to a camera about something. So... Lastly, but not uh, last, least, least but not last. One take all right One take. I don't got production crew and all that. But uh, the patch notes. We thought it was an April Fool's prank. I thought it was an April Fool's, an April Fool's prank. I watched the UFC too. So if you're a UFC fan, let me know down below. We can always talk about UFC and stuff like that. So I thought when uh, Tony Ferguson called out uh, and. Max Holloway took the fight against Khabib, and they're like, "Oh, this is a fight week, this that, and third." I'm like, "Man, that's April Fool's prank." I'm, I'm not, I'm not believing it until tomorrow. And then when uh, Steve, both Steve, Say Jam and uh, Tasty Steve, my favorite duo too, I hope to beat those guys one day. But when they was like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna patch those," they just said it. Like it's like, what? How do we get a patch, but we don't get the character? That's that's why I was like, "No, nah, there's no way." Patch is real, bro. It's super real. It's coming out today, actually. Another thing, the reason why I did it today. So, uh, the top five from early looks looks like Gal, Manat, Cami, Abigail, and Akuma. They did, they they hit Abigail with the nerf stick. So, it's going to be very interesting. He still gets, I think, some of those cheap jump ins he gets. And he still is probably going to do a lot of damage. But he's going to have to earn it. So, he's, he's honest now. So, that's the one thing I will say. Is he's honest now. So, you have to respect that. And then Lynette and Cammy, who were already good, got buff, son. So Knuckle Dude is going to be scary. Justin Wong is going to be scary. Infiltration is going to be scary. I don't even think they showed Jury Love, so Infiltration might just be a Monarch player. They killed Rashid. I mean, they, they hit him hard with a nerf stick. They hit Birdie hard with a nerf stick. And they hit Mika hard with a nerf stick. Mika hasn't been right since Season 1. And I don't even think Birdie was really... Birdie was good. He was always good. But I don't think he was always great. Like, I don't think he was ever in the top 10 as far as... Maybe he was top 10, top 15. But, uh... But really, like, Men RD was the one that was making Birdie look like he was this godlike... I mean, he's a godlike character, but uh, Men, Men RD is a godlike player. But he was making him look like a god, so I think that's what the outlaw was. And Birdie's so cheap, he doesn't have to DP. All he has to do is hold a button for an anti and it's like... But that's still Mena. Like, Mena out here playing. Like, Mena's a stud. He only playing his damn game. So, that's what I thought was crazy. So, it's going to be very interesting to see. And, and, and then they show love to, like, Ken. I don't think they show love to Vega or Ed. It's, it's like, it's... Zeku, Zeku's going to be the most interesting character. Because they, they, they tweaked a lot of things with Zeku. So, I'm kind of curious to see how Zeku plays are going to do. I think Big, Big Bird was playing Zeku. Um... Uh, Wolf Corps was playing Zeku. There's uh, plenty of more good Zekus. I'm sorry if I don't say your name. Uh, just drawing a blank here. But it's going to be very, very interesting to see how this patch works out. And no Flake trailer. No Flake A? Flake? Falk? Falk A? Falk? Whatever her name is. No trailer. What's up with that? Like, I figured at least we. I thought we were going to get a trailer. I thought the patch was like an April Fool's thing. Because it does seem early. You know what I'm saying? Like. AE came out uh, January 16th, and uh, we're getting a patch April. 
Like, I usually, I thought it was, like, more towards the summer. Like, it, like it's in the middle. This seems like a mad early for 2.5. But I just hope, my, my biggest gripe with this is I hope everybody's happy. Everybody's playing by Abigail. Everybody's playing by She. Everybody's playing by this character. That character. If you're going off pros, pros going to do what it takes to win. So, I can show you a player that uh, plays Fang. It was really good. And I can show you a player who plays... Abigail, who's ass. Like, it, it just really depends on the play. I think you just gotta go out and put in that work. It's, some matches are gonna be tough. Like, I think Geef, Geef got hit hard. Alex got hit hard. So it's gonna be hard to argue why play those guys. When this guy can do that. You know what I'm saying? I don't really have an answer for you, but, uh, let's play the game, man. You get good. Prove everybody wrong. Because imagine what you could do if your character is low tier, right? Imagine what you could do. When they give you a character buff. Well, actually a lot, because they just nerfed Zanky back back. And they nerfed Nika. Nika hasn't really been She hasn't been close to season one and since season one. So I'm really curious to see Fudo. Fudo. Uh I'm gonna see it. Fudo and my good homie El Chicote, I'm curious to see what they're gonna do. I know that's like a wild category, but El Chicote is a great master, so he's he's good. But that's his main, like that's who he plays. Like, I'm, I'm just curious to see about the character Loyalist. And then I'm curious to see about, like, Trey. Trey F is a really good birdie player in my homie. So, like, what are they going to do? Are they going to switch characters? Or Meta RD as well. It's going to be very interesting. It's going to be very interesting. Uh, Brussels Challenge in Belgium. Brussels. This weekend, 150 points up for grabs. Uh, it's a European event. So, you'll see Luffy. Uh, Luffy is another one as well, though. On Mika main, so I had a patch going hit before the tournament. Wow, so this is going to be very interesting. The problem next with playing Abigail, so I'm kind of curious to see if you still play Abigail. I don't know how Bison patch those were, but uh, like I said, that's going to be interesting. Uh, you know, who knows? Who knows uh, how it's going to go? Who's going to do well? I, I just hope everybody's happy with the patch. Like I said, this has been NCR Recap with your boy Be Heard. Hopefully you like the series. I want to prove the series, so let me know how I can prove the series. And like I said, I don't really watch Tekken or Marvel like that or KLF. So if uh, anyone that covers that, that can help me cover it, you know what I'm saying? Hit me up. Uh, leave some feedback. Never go post this everywhere. Uh, I get my news from Event Hubs and Shore You Can. So shout out to both you websites. Love you long time. Except Shore You Can Forums. Yo, foul. Speaking of forums, like Kaba, I got cussed out on the forums just because I asked the wrong place. I was like, hey, I want to do some commentary. Where I go? I went to the wrong place. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> but uh, yeah, all my social media is down below. Get at your boy. I'm definitely going to post this everywhere because I, I wanted to do this for the community. I love doing stuff like this. Like the best of the show, super sick. Basper Arcade does it. Uh, Ultra 10 TV does it. Love all them shows. Love, you know what I'm saying? Love excellent adventures. Capcom Pro Talk was so sick with Flo. I'm, I'm one of Flo's biggest fans. Flo, Mike Ross, K. Brad, super sick. They did it weekly. Like I'll do it weekly. You know what I'm saying? Money right. I'll do it weekly. You feel? But I ain't paying for it. You know, it is what it is. So I love you guys. Till next time. Peace.